Pro Big C Namer 210 here and um, today I'm going to be showing you something interesting regarding mapping on 7 days uh, but if you haven't seen it already please check out my uh, Facebook slash Steam group for 7 days to die, modern prefab and everything else so yeah that's today's plug right so the first thing I want to show you guys you've probably seen this page a lot if you follow my blog and Slan's blog um, this is, of course, the official page for my server, and um, you will notice that I have mapping the map for my server on the page, and you will also see that um, that there are portions of the map which are clickable, such as this. Um, I don't know why, but my mouse pointer is kind of off at the minute. Um, you see, like at the minute on my screen, I've got the mouse pointer on the little beacon, the little this little blue beacon here. But on my screen, this is the center. So when I click on it, we've got a little pop up here for the vending machines on my server. So I'm just going to switch this to a bigger view, um, so you guys can see. But what it allows you, what I'm going to show you how to do is how to highlight areas of your map. Uh, like this and like this little triangle area down here and how to put markers on your map and um, how to have the markers actually say something interesting I mean in this case I've got vendor machines but you could have uh, any POI um, and yeah I'm going to show you how to do that so um, knowledge I expect you to already have going into this is I already expect you to have Alex Maps installed um, and yeah, that's about it, really. But I don't expect, like, yeah, you should have Alex Maps installed at this point. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly explain to you what Leaflet is. Um, Leaflet is a JavaScript language. Uh, it's a, kind of like a JavaScript library um, for making interactive maps. Okay. Now, here is an example. And this has been modified slightly so that we can use it in seven days to die by Alec. So when we are you when we're moving around on our Alex map, it is really just a leaflet.js map. Okay. Now I'm not coming the if you go on the leaflet.js dot com uh, leaflet.js dot com, yep, that's right, website, there are tons of tutorials and things like that that you can go and you can learn yourself. Um, so I'm not actually going to give you a leaflet.js tutorial. What I am going to give you a tutorial is how to get leaflet items on the seven days map on your server so that people who aren't logged in, if you notice I'm not logged in, can see these certain things about your map. Because just as an example, this one that we made here uh, says this area, it's referring to this entire blue square, this area gets reset on server restart, so don't place your claim blocks in here. I mean, this, this doesn't really happen on my server, but it's just an example of what you can do. And just to show you here with the triangle, you can make these any shape or size that you like. Um, I found personally that you do get issues when you try to use leaflet.js's built-in circle function. Uh, one second. Leaflet.js. So I'm just going to quickly show you... Uh, Leaflet.js does support circles natively, um, but I can't seem to get it to work with the seven days map browser, but that's okay because we can get polygons working. Um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my server machine over, which is here, and I'm going to show you where leaflet.js lies. So if you find your dedicated server folder, and you will know that you installed Alex mod, uh, Alex web map to the mods folder. You go into there, you go into web server, you go into JS, and then in there, there is a file called map.js. You should probably open that with Notepad++. And um, yeah, I've made this quite big so you guys can see. But when you scroll down, actually here's a copy of it. If you scroll down to around line 122, um, just before the player markers section, 
you can put in your points of interest here, okay? So what you can do is these double slashes just mean comment. So it means you can put stuff in there to remind you what you are. So if I wanted to say, uh, this is where my markers go. Okay, that the, this code, because it's got the two double slashes, it won't actually run. It's just to remind me what's there. But again, I assume you know what a comment is. Okay, so what I've done is this is my actual real one. And as you can see, I've put in three pieces of information. The first one is this polygon. This, this is polygon number one. Yeah, we have polygon number two. And then we have a marker. So, um, going back to a map, we can see that this is a four point. The way that it works, actually, let me just quickly explain this first. Um, is that polygons, are, they're, they're kind of like a dot to dot. They go from one to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. And then when it gets to the end, it joins them all up based on the order that you've put them in. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of this line for now. So we've made a polygon. Okay, and we're putting in the coordinates here. So this is the top left one. This is the top right one. This is the bottom left. This is the bottom right. I don't think it works. I think that's probably bad information. You put the coordinates in, and um, what it does is it kind of does a dot to dot, and it joins them all together. So if we pull the map out, just move this out of the way, we can see that if we move the mouse over here, you can see just underneath uh, the map, we can see down here it displaying the coordinates. So 512, uh, and then... 512 again but obviously if it's south or if it's west then on these coordinates it'll have a minus in front of it because north and east um actually it should be this way and you guys north and east are positives and south and west are minuses okay so yeah so as an example say if we wanted to make this a pentagon like a little house, and we wanted to have a, we wanted to have like a point up here. What we would need to do is in between this one, and this one, we would put in a point. So, actually, I think this starts at the bottom left and then goes up and then right. So I just had it before there. Just gonna get I'm sure that's bottom left first, and then top left, and then top middle. So, what I've done here is I've put in an extra coordinate, um, and it's at zero one thousand. So let's have a look on here. Uh, zero means it's going to be slap bang in the middle because east and west are first, and then north and south are second. So it's going to be exactly here. Okay, so. All this can be done pretty much in real time. So if I just press save on here and I go back and I refresh my map, um, we should have a nice little pentagon. Refresh this one. There we go. So as you can see, it's just traced the line. If we move it up here, uh, we can see it is zero, 1000. That's exactly where it goes to on the map. So we've worked out how we draw and highlight an area, okay? Now, the next thing we want to be looking at is um, how do we make it so when people click on it, it's a pop-up. So if we look here, we can see that we're making a new polygon uh, and we're calling it polygon 1, okay? Then we'll put it in the coordinates. You can have as many or as little as you like. Notice that polygon 2 is a triangle, so it's only got 3. Yeah, you get it? And obviously this one was a pentagon, so it had 5. If we get rid of this, it has 4. Um, if we removed another one and then saved it and refreshed it, it would become a triangle like that. You know? So anyway, 
We've covered that now. This last line here, polygon one, um, sorry, polygon one dot bind pop up. This is where you can put in whatever message you want. Okay. So as an example, I've got it so that when you click on it, it says this area gets reset on restarts. Don't place your claim yet. To be honest, you can copy and paste my code. Um, so I'm just going to refresh this. So we're back up to four. Sure enough, when you click on it, this claim gets reset on server restarts. Do not place your claim here. Lovely. So that is how you put polygons on your map. So the next thing I'm going to be looking for, just remember if you're going to make a new one, so if we were going to make polygon number three, we would just copy polygon number two, and then where it says polygon number two, I change that to a three, I would change that to a three, and then we're good to go, and we're good to put new coordinates in for the third one. It's as easy as that. So the next up is markers. Okay, so I've just got rid of my two. Um, I've just got rid of my two shapes, so there's nothing on the map now except for this marker here. Um, so when you click on the marker, which it on your screen it looks like I'm clicking over here, but again it's because my mouse pointer's off in OBS. But when you click on it, we now have a nice little pop up that shows you that on my server, if you come to this part on the map, I took a little screenshot and dropped it in. There are vending machines at this point on the map of which you can buy shit. So. The question is, is um, how do you put the marker there? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Um, thank you to Lord Icon for this, by the way, because he was the one that initially gave me this little snippet of code. I just took the liberty of putting my own image in. So first off, what we're doing is we are creating a marker. That's what it, that's what it's called. The name of it is called a marker. So uh, if we wanted marker, this is like say marker one, okay? So if you wanted to have 10 markers, you would copy and paste this code and put it in as marker two, marker three, marker four. Next up, here we have our coordinates. So I've got it at minus one, minus zero? I've got it at minus one, minus zero, but if I switched it to minus one, 500, it would mean that when we go back, it would move in here, it's moved 500 north. Yeah, so like I say, second block of well, the stuff inside the square brackets is relating to the location. So underneath here we have marker one dot bind pop up. Okay, so this is just the same kind of thing as before. It's what happens when people click on it. Now we, I have a little piece of H, a little chunk of HTML, which. I'm going to kind of split it so you can see what it looks like. Uh, and all it does is ignore this change in color. It's just because of me breaking the lines. So all I'm doing here is putting in a title that says vendor machines so that is this section here uh, this section here just says get write the text vendor machines make it bold and put it in the center that's what these tags mean this br sl uh, space slash bracket means leave a line break and then this piece here, uh, one sec, I'm gonna have to break this down a bit more. So this line here loads in the image, sets it quite small, gives it a title. Um, so what that means is it means when up, and it's got an alt as well. So that means if I move my mouse over it, then that's what the title slash alt is. Um, and then there's a little piece of text under it. We've got another BR, which is kind of a line break from the text down to here. And then just another little piece of text. 
yeah so that's all we've got really um very awkward to do you got word wrap on got word wrap on So yeah, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, what I'll do is I'll put the code, I'll put this JavaScript code um, in the description of the video, and I'll put like I'll put the code in from before that I had as well for the square, so you guys can copy and paste it. Yeah, so you can make like your first polygon, and you can put your first marker down. I'll take the image out. Actually, I'll put a placeholder image in so you can make your own. And then um, and then it'll mean that you can just copy and paste my code into your map.js. And, uh, and then you can kind of take it from there and put the coordinates where you'd like them to go. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it, really. Uh, I'm just going to go back. And now if I save this, I'm going to have, yeah, I'm going to have my square and my triangle. Um, I'm just going to delete this one. I'm going to have my square, my triangle, and my marker. So there's my square, there's my triangle, and there's my marker. So, yeah, uh, it's a little bit tricky to get with at first, but to be honest, I've, I'll, I'll make it quite easy so you can just copy and paste. Um, and then you can just refresh on your map, and your stuff should appear. Uh, one thing to say is that when Alec releases new versions of his map and software, you, it might end up overwriting this file. So if I was you, I would save a copy of your map.js file somewhere safe, so that if you do update to the latest versions of Alec's fixes and it wipes out your map, you can put all your POIs back in and your map markers and stuff like that. Um... Yeah, that's all I can think of at the minute. Uh, that's just about it. Don't forget, please leave me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe, and get ready because my server's coming for Alpha 13. Uh, don't forget, if you really want to, you can come by and drop by and say hello to us on the Steam or Facebook groups. And I shall see you guys next time.